ladies and gentlemen welcome to my channel again if you're just joining if you're just watching my video for the first time welcome um okay so i'm going to be showing you how i create um a mirror effect using photoshop okay so um i'm going to I already created all of this on Photoshop before. My background, I created in Illustrator, imported it into Photoshop, and added a bit of galaxy type effects. Okay, so um, I'm going to just switch this off and combine this guy. Maybe make it into a smart object. Just faster. Okay, there you go. All right. So um, for this for this effect, I'm going to be creating um, I'm going to be using the ellipse tool. We've created our circle. Let's reduce it a little bit. All right, so there you go. Now I'm going to duplicate the mesh gradient layer, bring it over the ellipse, um, the circle, and then just clip into it. All right, so there's that. So um, on this human so 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 okay. Um, on this layer, let's call it galaxy layer. So anytime I say galaxy layer, I mean this layer. Alright? So we'll go to if um filter, blur, gaussian blur, and we we'll blow it. Yeah. Then we'll come down to the circle, double click. We're going to play around with our layer style. Right? So hold on, let me just bring this down so we can see what we are doing. So first of all, I'm going to stroke the nigga. That sounded odd. I like to stroke this guy. <laughs> ah, okay, well, we have a gradient of um, black and white already. So this is how it usually appears, right? So you just click here and then click on gradients. Yeah, and then this is your default mode. Um. All right. Yeah. Look at on the right track here. All right. So I've I've re I reduced the opacity a little bit. If I keep it as a hundred, we have this. Please don't forget that your blend mode is already on screen. But I like to, I want to reduce it, right? So it looks like it's um, reflecting some of the color around it. So my the size of the stroke is 1. Blend mode is screen. Position is outside. Stroke position is outside. <laughs> Opacity at 70. Let's do 70. Right? So let's keep it um, even. Gradient is black to white. Linear at angle 30. And say, okay. Scale is 120%. Please do not forget. I say, okay. Yeah, I'm looking good. All right. Sorry, we need to go back. We need to have a, add a drop shadow over underneath this guy. It's just to give it um like um make it look like it's hovering on that background. So reduce the the um shadow to about forty. Since you have like a dark background, if it was a white one, if it was a light colored background, we might need to use something around fifteen to twenty. Percent. Did I not say 40? Why it doesn't? It just didn't know the year word. I said 40, my nigga. Ah. Alright, let's increase this. Okay, let's reduce the size a little bit. So it's visible, right? But still there. It's visible, but okay, so that's the same thing. Alright, it's visible. Yeah. So there you go. Um, um, drop shadow and stroke. All done. Now we need to duplicate this circle. Bring it above um, the galaxy. Remove all the effects con and convert this to a smart object. Convert this to a smart object. Then we'll go to filter and we'll go to noise. We'll go to add noise. Yeah. I already have it at 15% uniform distribution. I say okay. Alright. So um, I like to convert it to a smart object. You don't necessarily need to, but I like to convert it to a smart object again. And then just go to my blend mode and say um, screen. Once I have that on screen, I reduce the opacity to about 10%. So, if you... Okay, so this is... This is there's no reflection. Alright, no reflection. I usually work with light, light background, so... Uh, let's use multiple, right? This is zero. There you go. It's, you can see it. Can you see what I'm doing? Mm-hmm. So, this is basically your mirror effect. You can decide to reduce the gradient... Sorry, the um, blur. If this is not visible enough, you can decide to reduce the blur. Now, disclaimer, yeah, if you want to add text to this background and you want it to reflect on on that beneath this um, mirror, you need to include it here on your galaxy background. Let me show you what I mean. 
so let's say we are adding this yeah this is already looking nice right let's say we're adding this to the background yeah so we need to bring it down here right and um, hold this background and the um, text select it together click ctrl alt e so you have a meshed version of all of that convert it to smart objects bring that nigger that niggy and black so i can see me that all right so um bring it up um above the circle place the smart filter on it remove this other one as you can see you can see um you can as you can see you can see the the um letter the letter has been it all right so if this is not coming up properly we just need to reduce this guy right so let's do five i think five should be okay now this is your we need to we need to link this layer so when we move it they move it together all right so this is your new uh -huh. as you can see it's looking pretty really, it's looking beautiful okay so um let me add a little bit of something on it all right so what i did here i was i i saw that it was looking a little bit too dark right so it's not it's not showing the way i'd like it to so you can either leave it this way if you prefer or you can add a gradient overlay of white to um transparent background right white to transparent so if you come down here like you have this stop at 100 percent opacity and you have this stop at zero percent opacity so this is white and this is white and then you say okay you reduce the opacity to ten, of the, the opacity of the gradient itself to 10 percent linear minus one one nine angle yeah meaning that it's coming from here like this but this is white to transparent white to transparent and then it just hits okay so this is the kind of circle that i like yeah i feel like this this does it for me all right so this is my um sorry mirror this kind of mirror that i like right so this is one method okay all right so let's delete all of this and start it over again for the other one what's this oh that's um all right so for the second method yeah this is i this is quite different let's do the ctrl alt e imagine this background on a new layer and converting it to a smart object right so beneath that we can create our our shape whatever shape you want you're free to use right so I, I want my shape to be rounded to be rounded rectangle yeah so there you get there it is all right so bring it beneath let's name this guy galaxy let's do let's do it that way so clip into this um rounded rectangle um come down to galaxy layer go up to filter go to filter gallery and here you see glass where the g's are glass and then you have this effect on it let's click ok let's hold on let me bring this into focus yeah. all right so this is the effect you have on it all right so let's say let's say ok hold on please yeah there you go so we say ok and then if you look closely you see what i'm moving now is the rectangle right so that's this that's that we need to add our layer our layer style which is crock beautiful we were using the same thing we used for the other one um size at one um one pixel um position of the stroke is outside blend mode screen opacity at 70 percent gradient um of the gradient of the stroke at as white to black yeah so there's that um we need to add a drop shadow this automatically just picks the drop shadow that i already had before and then you we'll add gradient to it and say okay so basically what you had for the first one is what you do here right so now what you need to do next is um okay so this is i think this already looks good it already has that texture to it that last texture to it so you can like i mentioned earlier you can decide to use or not use the gradient overlay depending on what it is you're trying to do right I, mean, I like to add the gradient over it so yeah so those are the two ways you can actually create 
your um, mirror effect you can either, either use um, vision blur or you can use the filter gallery so um, I think that that brings us basically to the end of this tutorial so thanks for thanks for watching guys I post content like this periodically so please subscribe to my channel like my content follow me on social media and I'll see you in my next video bye 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 bye, bye.